What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Today, I've got a really cool explore for you guys. I've got a time capsule that's full of stuff. It's been forgotten about for a long time. And the place I'm talking about is this one right here behind me. This one's really gonna blow your minds. So let's get inside and see what we can figure out about this place. All right, so this is the place I'm talking about here, guys. I think this is gonna be a really, really cool place. So let's just take a quick look around and then we'll get inside. It's really heavily overgrown, so it's gonna be hard to maneuver out here. But this is what the front of the place looks like. And if we walk this way, this takes us around back. And like I said, everything is heavily, heavily overgrown. So it's gonna be really hard to do a walk around, unfortunately, today. But I'll show you what I can. Oh, and then we'll go inside. I just got smacked in the face. Almost tripped. Well, that's cool. So they have like an outdoor fire pit. That's really nice. And this is the back side of the house here. Pretty cool looking place. We'll just take this path over here. Wow, they even have their own little pond. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Beautiful. Very secluded. We are a few hours north of the city. Great location. Look at that place. Look at this, they got an old van here too. Huh. That's pretty cool. All right, well, let's not dilly dally out here. There's really not a whole lot else we can see. Let's get inside and see if we can figure out about this place. All right, guys, so we're going to start this one in the front hallway. I think you guys are going to really be blown away by this place. There's a ton of stuff left behind. I do have to apologize, though. I am wearing a mask. This place is extremely moldy. So I do apologize that the audio quality is a little bit iffy. But let's get into this one. So right away, got some stuff left here at the front door. Got some qualifications. Looks like you took a technical course. It's pretty cool. Up here, look at this guy. Got a knight at the end of the hallway. That's pretty cool. He's keeping on guard for everything. And take a note of those beautiful sconces they have on the wall. That's pretty cool too. Over here, we got a closet just full of stuff. Look at this. Leather coat's getting moldy. Leather coat is getting moldy, sorry. I'll just kind of scan through here so you guys can see what they have. Pretty wild, eh? Even got their spiffy suits in the back. If we turn around this way, get all the ladies' clothes. It's pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure what the story is behind this place. So we'll see if we can figure that out here. But from the way the things look, it looks like whoever used to live here just kind of left rather suddenly, leaving everything behind. This is a crazy room. This is obviously the family room. You got a real fireplace here. That's cool. Still have a fire log and everything. Beautiful fireplace, all stone. And we got the Tula Clark, 20 fantastic hits. Oh, look at this Inquirer, how old this is. <laughs> That's Michael Douglas. That's from 83. Wow. And look in there, you can see right down to the basement. Nineteen eighty-three. It's pretty cool. Oh look, they got a record down there. That's pretty wild. Yeah, this kind of stuff everywhere, guys. So there's a lot to take in here. We unfortunately won't be able to dig through everything, or we'll be here forever. We don't want that.
cool chair by the front window. And as you can see, they have some pretty old school rustic curtains. Got that ugly 70s wood paneling, which I don't really like. Pretty cool. Even have the old cabinet style TV. Old Viking too. That's pretty cool. I had a TV like this growing up when I was very young. Look at the intricate woodwork. You just don't see that anymore. TVs aren't that big. This guy's pretty cool too. I like that. Over here we have a Channel Master rotary dial to control the uh, antenna that was outside. And I guess over here we had some kind of a garden section, I guess, or some kind of indoor garden. That's a cool little storage below. I like this bamboo decoration. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty crazy seeing a place left like this, though. I mean, the chair and the Chesterfield is still set up. Look at that chair. It's pretty old school. It's pretty cool. You don't see stuff like that anymore, do you? The matching Chesterfield. The frog's kind of cool. I like that guy. It's just keeping an eye on things while nobody else is here. What do we got over here? That's pretty cool. Zoom in and let you guys take a look at all this stuff. So you got the wedding day photo. Zoom it on the letter for you guys. You can pause it and read it. That's pretty cool. Well, wow, look at that old switch cover. No idea when this place was built. I'm assuming it's an older place, like 40s, 50s. Obviously, if we see any signs of that, we'll figure it out as we go through. Love all things. That is not a real Persian rug. I know the difference, sort of. Yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. Okay, we'll work our way through this way. Well, that's cool. Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. That's cool. So over here we have the, uh, the dining room. It's kind of a cool vaulted ceiling. I like how they have like wicker uh, chain links. That's kind of interesting. Let's see what we got in here. Interesting old cabinet door. Obviously over here was the liquor cabinet probably. They have some napkin stands. Yep, yeah, just a bunch of stuff left behind. Toothpicks. Well, that's interesting. I'll just kind of take everything in here. Those are neat. Well, that's a real, real tape. That's cool. It doesn't say what it is. Those old 45s. Oh, they got a few here. Last time I touched a record, something terrible happened. You guys have to appreciate that I'm getting brave again. Patty LaBelle. That's pretty cool. Well, it's a cool candle stand. Let's see what this flyer's from, 2016. So that might be the last time someone was here, maybe. 
we got there someone's art it's pretty cool over here I'll take a look at the liver cap liquor cabinet from the other side look at the background that's like well oh <laughs> they've actually got like old butterflies on the wall that's kind of weird interesting wallpaper this is looking back towards the other side of the room pretty insane place isn't it guys oh look at this little desk in the corner here <laughs> that's pretty cool still have an old Bacardi bottle there oh and that's what I'm just noticing they have like bamboo curtains very very interesting it's very cottagey here let's see this room so this looks like it was an add-on to the house oh yeah so unfortunately these couches are destroyed the roof has come down but this is very cool got an old piano here look at that underneath we got some briefcase or suitcases it's all sorts of stuff i'm not going to dig through it though it's trapped it's wet i'm not really interested in finding out what turds might be stuck to it but yeah you can see this room is in terrible terrible shape now and obviously nobody's going to enjoy this room ever again oh there's even a chair in the corner there <laughs> that is cool microwave oven all right so let's go back into the house and we'll go this way which is the kitchen now the kitchen is packed look at all this stuff this is just stuff everywhere the cleaning caddy still has all the cleaning stuff that's a cool little step stool you got recipes and everything serving trays look at that is that strawberry it is <laughs> never mind brown cow you got strawberry cow still have the sugar and the flour back there look at that scissor sharpener and a can opener Look at the soap. <laughs> Interesting. Pretty retro looking cabinets. I like how they're rounded in the corners like that. That's kind of neat. And if you open it, oh yeah, it's still full. I guess if we open the other side, same deal. <laughs> Look at that, eh? I am the I want a perfect secretary who runs who types fast and runs slow okay so over here we still have vinegar and everything look at that that's pretty cool look at this you got more records is this still open unopened look at that the tea is unopened <laughs> old tape recorder there look at this thing though is this a microwave Moffat Fiesta no it's like an oven that thing is crazy this thing looks like it's from the 50s or 60s wouldn't you guys say well what's up here oh we still have all the spices that is wild very cool what's over here <laughs> look at this 
So they have the corning ware. They have their mixer. They have an, even have measuring cups and stuff still. It's crazy. And up here you got all your Tupperware. That is nuts. Fridge is old. Princess never cooks. <laughs> Anything in here? No. And the fridge is empty and clean. Very retro 70s looking fridge though, I'd say. What do we got down here? Is this open? No. Crazy amount of stuff. When's this from? 2016. Seems like people were here in 2016, wouldn't you guys say? Let's continue this way. See what's over here. I don't know what this is. There's horseshoes on it. It's like a decoration or something. There's a horseshoe there. Very strange. Ooh, look at that. That's gross. Kitchen's definitely decaying away. Okay, so this takes us downstairs. Oh, that light switch cover is very cool. Follows the night theme of the uh, hallway. That's neat. Okay, so this takes us to a hallway. Okay, so it takes us back out to the main hallway where this guy is. That guy is really cool. So yeah, if I turn this way, we're looking back down to where we started the video. So we're not going to go there. We'll go this way. Look at this guy. He's just monkeying around. So there's a lot of papers on the floor. I'm going to avoid those because they probably have the address. This is like an office. It's a pretty cool room. You got some negatives there. I don't know if they were a teacher or something. It looks like they might have been a teacher. This looks like class schedule. 83. That's a checkbook. What's this? Sault Ste. Marie. So that's two things we've seen from Sault Ste. Marie. So I wonder if they moved here from there. There's a photo album. Wow. Barbados 73. Yes, my hand is bloody. Had an accident coming in here. Oh yeah, these guys lived it up. So I guess one of them was a teacher, from the looks of things. Very cool. There's the knight. <laughs> well, there's another photo album here. So I guess this must have been the missus. Well, they definitely liked their vacations, didn't they? hard to flip these sorry I'm trying to show you guys everything without taking too long that's cool well at least their memories are intact forever lots of stuff's here you can see this bunch of pencils oh yeah more photos so before we go over there we'll just take a look around we have a bunch of moldy binders Got a bunch of board games on this chair. That's kind of neat. Look at that wallpaper. <laughs> the two different types of wallpaper, strangely. That reflective stuff's pretty cool though. Whoa, look at all the books. Are you kidding me? They're all the same too. Har Harlequin. Har Harlequin presents. Okay. Obviously, they like those. Oh, this box is worth money now. Look at all the incandescent bulbs. That's pretty crazy. 
Okay, so here, we just got more cool stuff left behind. I'll just kind of show you guys. It's really hard to show you everything, obviously. That's a photo album like the one I have. It's brand new, though. Yeah, it's like receipts and personal documents. Same with that. Like, it's everywhere you look, guys. Everywhere you look. There's just stuff everywhere. We even have clothes and everything left in the closet. Like, that's pretty nuts. What's that? Interesting. Inspirational words. And again, we'll just take a look at the desk here. Just a lot of stuff left behind. You got some more negatives. Very, very cool. Anything in the drawer? Doesn't want to move. Yeah, there's just so much stuff. Let's go through this photo album, I guess. A second here. Well, yeah, I was going to say, look at the Coda Color 2 negative film, 1977. That's crazy. All right, so let's work our way out of here. I mean, if I really dug in here, we'd be here for days. I don't want to do that to you guys. It's a nice crystal doorknob. Okay, so next we'll go into the bathroom here. Very cool looking bathroom. This looks very reminiscent of something you'd see in the 40s or 50s. Look at that wallpaper. <laughs> The wallpaper's crazy. The tiling. You know, they might have done the tiling at different times. Like, that looks a little different than this would have been. This looks like the most modern thing in here. All this stuff's left behind here, too. You got all these slides. Wish I had a slide viewer like Noah. Is there anything in the medicine cabinet? No. A little bit of stuff, but nothing too cool. Vaseline's seen better days. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. That's nasty. Look at that toilet cover. Oh, the brown bomber was here. Look at that thing. Oh, man. Yeah, they killed that toilet. I like how they have a, uh, a candle holder beside the toilet. That's cool. They also have storage beside the toilet. Take a look in there real quick. Oh! Cleaning stuff's still there. That's cool. I'll look inside the tub. It's pretty old school. Yeah. Okay, so let's work our way out of here. Look at that hair dryer. <laughs> that is so old school. It's a pretty cool tile table it's sitting on. So we got a room on the right and a room on the left. We'll go here first. It's a tiny little bedroom. It's got some very cottagey wallpaper. Look at that. Wow. Lots of stuff in here. Lots of stuff. It's all just kind of thrown around. People have obviously been digging and rummaging. Still got some women's shoes. It's an interesting dresser. Whatever 
there's anything in it. No, it's empty. The closet's full. Look at that dress. The closet's full. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is all ladies' clothes. I'm assuming that's the lady from the photos. And that's cool, too. All right. Well, we got a calendar here from October 1980. <laughs> My sister wasn't even born yet at that time. That's crazy. So you got another uh, dresser matching the one behind me there. Empty. Empty. It's empty, so we won't really dig. We'll just go around the other side here, see if anything down here is cool. No, but that's an interesting cover on the bed or a quilt or whatever you want to call it. Quilt. Looks like someone made that. The headboard's cool too. It's got a mirror on it. That's interesting. All right, so let's continue this way. Got an old chess piece there. Look at the shag floor in here. <laughs> so we got another room that's pretty full of stuff. The bed's even still set up. Look at all this stuff. Crazy. Is that someone's wig? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting old dresser. Look at the woodwork on the drawer. That's pretty cool. Some of these shoes are left behind. And again, we got another closet just full of clothes. But that's wild, eh? And again, another dresser that's beautiful. See if we can get it. Empty. That's got some stuff. For the most part, though, it looks pretty, you know, 50 50 empty. Some things left, nothing too important. I've seen most of the clothes are now on the floor, like this stuff here. Go around this side of the bed. It's amazing how dated this room is. All sorts of weird things just left on the bed. Very interesting. It's kind of a cool headboard, though. Whoa, the wall is carpet shag. <laughs> I just realized that. That is messed up. Look at that. Carpet shag on the wall. You guys ever seen that before? I haven't. I don't know what this thing is here. 1969 newspaper. That's crazy. And we got some bow ties set up. Look at that old chair. <laughs> That's wild. All right, so let's work our way out of here. Very cool room. Lots of cool stuff set up. Or left behind, I should say. All right, so just before we leave, oh, look. That's cool, too. We'll just give you guys one last look. This room is just completely stuck in time since the last time someone lived here. This kind of situation blows my mind. Okay, so we're going to work our way back out. Okay, so now we're out in the main hall here. We're going to work our way downstairs now. I think that's all we have left. That's a cool light hanging out here. So downstairs is here. No idea what to expect, so let's find out together. That's cool. So obviously there's a window or something there. Oh, look at that. That's a cool crystal knob. So I see some dragon artwork. That's pretty cool. Look at this old retro wallpaper. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's a disaster down here. Holy mackerel. Wow. 
it's like a tiki bar. That's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> that is really cool. Even though down here has definitely seen some better days. Look at this desk. Oh my goodness. Wow. I have no idea how old this thing is, but it should not have been left like this. Look at this fridge. This old Frigidaire fridge. That's wild. This stuff should not be here like this. Maybe back here. Old light. Look at this Geisha artwork though. That's pretty cool. This bathroom or basement is pretty surprising, I gotta say. This artwork was not easy to do. Probably custom to the house. Beautiful fireplace. This would have been a very cozy spot back in the day. Look at that. Just awesome. But the bar. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's seen better days. It's falling apart right in front of our eyes, basically. But uh, this would have been a really cool spot to entertain people at one point. Look at that stuff. That's still canned, and it's gone bad, obviously, but wow. Look at back here. It's all beer bottle labels. Oh, look at that. It's all like fuses or something in the ceiling. <laughs> Pretty cool. I guess we'll go back here and take a look from back here. So we got an old cabinet full of whatever they can. It looks like peaches or something. Obviously that stuff's gone terribly bad. But that is just wild. That's a very cool old sink. Those Carlsberg stubby bottles, those are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wow. Oh wow, look at the lights. I didn't even notice those. It's in terrible shape down here though, guys. Like it's moldy everywhere you look. And they've got little anchors and things on the ceiling. That's pretty cool too. Very cool bar. I like it. Has a very cool vibe. So those are the stairs we just came down. I like that wood paneling. That's neat. Look at this wall here, just all the mold. Oh my god. It's absolutely terrible. What do you think, guys? Look at the table. The table's collapsing. That's a pretty old table, too. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a 40s or 50s table. What's in here? It's like a closet. <laughs> Very creepy looking. Yeah, it's just a closet. But that uh, Wayne the Pooh chair is kind of creepy looking in that closet. Gotta say. Wow. So this is the laundry room area of the basement. One of the only uncovered windows here. You can see they still have the old washer and dryer. Got a Motormaster oil filter. That's pretty cool. What we got under here? Just old storage. Nothing really to see. But that psychedelic looking cover is probably from the 60s or 70s. And there's still some brand new Kleenex. That's kind of wild. What's back here? Wow. So this is like the tool area. So we can go this way here. And we'll go in here first. I guess we'll go this way first. 
Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. We got a train set up in here. This is kind of outrageous. I'm just gonna show this to you guys. I don't really have a whole lot of commentary for this. I'm kind of blown away. Just take a look and take it in. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. That's absolutely nuts. I've got an eight track there. What we got here? Wow. I'm speechless, guys. I really don't even know what to say about this. I mean, it's in complete disarray now, which is an absolute shame. Because this took hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours to build. Look at that old radio. Wow. That is absolutely wild, isn't it? That's the control for it right here. Wow. This would have been something to see. It's just too bad it's like this now. That is so, so cool. And this is pretty cool too. There's power tubes on it. That's back of a TV, that's what that is. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, it's cool too. This used to be like a mountain border all around, so it looked like it was like in the mountains. Oh yeah, yep, that was a mountain border. That is so wild. <laughs> wow, hey eh, guys? Absolutely crazy. An abandoned train setup. All right, let's continue on. Let's see what's in this room over here. These are some pretty old doors, too. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a really cool spot. Like all the jars are still here and they're all hooked up still with everything in them. Very cool workbench. Very messy now. Look at all the power plugs, the outlets there. That's so cool. This bench is ahead of its time. I would have loved this. It's even got a vice. Very, very cool. So let's continue down this way. Look how moldy the drywall is on the back side. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely gross. Got all sorts of shelving that's not being used anymore. Old electrical. Wow, look at this. This basement's winding and creepy. Wow. So down here you got the water cooler. A lot more mold. <laughs> you got a humidifier, which we've seen in a few different places now. Oh, this is cool. You got the grinder and the brush. You got a table saw. Very cool. Very, very cool. That's another room. Oh, I guess we can get to that from over here. <laughs> school door. 
This basement's crazy. Gotta check that freezer on the way out. Okay, so this brings us to a, looks like a basement entrance area. We've got an old dolly down here, that's cool. Yeah, you can see they boarded the door shut. They also had a sump pump. Ancient three horsepower lawnmower. That's some various other things. <laughs> now these stairs here, look like at one point, yeah, they took us to a garage. I'm not gonna climb through that to show you guys. But that's what it looks like. I've already had enough incidents today. Whoa. That's a cool stove. That's very cool too. All right. Let's work our way back in. So that's obviously another way out. So I saw an apartment for rent sign in that room over there. I'm wondering if this is the apartment. It's a very moldy apartment. If you don't mind the mold, this is the place for you. Look at that wallpaper. Holy mackerel. Wow. Yeah, it's in rough shape down here. Like that is wallpaper, but you just can't tell because it's gotten so moldy. A big closet, very big closet for a you know modestly sized room. I would say latchable from the inside, definitely an apartment. And over here, the apartment has its own kitchen. So those go upstairs. So that's interesting, very cool. I like those windows. Very nice windows going outside. Oh, and they got glass block windows down here. That's really, really cool. But yeah, this is the kitchen down here for the apartment. It's an older kitchen. You can see by the cabinetry. Look at those decorations there. I have no idea how old any of this is. I'm sure Tommy could tell me. That's an old Frigidaire oven. Very small. That's probably a 50s unit, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the cabinetry certainly looks like it could be 50s. Very crazy. Oh, look. They have glass blocks in the kitchen, too. Again, the mold down here is just insanely bad. So if you go through here, this takes us back out to where we were earlier with the bar. So that's pretty cool. I guess we've walked around the entire basement. So why don't we take up the other stairs then? And I think we'll wrap this video up because I don't think there's anything else to show you. What do you guys think of this one? It's pretty wild. Look at that wallpaper. <laughs> wow. And that awful carpet, it's just like puke colored. There's another window there. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't know where we are, but this is pretty cool. I like that brick wall. It's a nice ceiling there. Nice cedar ceiling. This must be the other apartment here. It's gotta be. Oh yeah, here's another room. Very interesting. Well, I like that uh, timber there. That's pretty cool. The vaulted ceiling's kind of nice, too. Yeah, this part of the house has a really nice ceiling. I like that uh, cedar ceiling a lot. That's all there is in here. Yeah, not a whole lot to see. Just some bamboo curtains and a really nice stone wall. I really like that. That's cool. That's the uh, stairs we just came up. Look at that beautiful paneling, it's very nice. This is crazy. So they've covered all the windows up, but at one point this would have been a very bright room. Lots of light coming in. 
Over here, it looks like they had a weeping wall. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You got all the shelving on the wall. Little drawers from a jewelry box. There's the hose for the water up there. Yeah, that's cool. A weeping wall. Never seen one of those before. It's an interesting room. Oh, they have big new windows too. So at one point they might have been wanting to save this place because those are brand new, never used. It's an old school table. And they got the interesting decoration like the one we saw in the other area of the house there. It's pretty wild. Let's go this way, see what's in here. So this looks like a bathroom, yep. I guess this was part of the apartment space too. This is an original looking bathroom. Look at the color of the tub. Look at that tile work. It's pretty dated looking. Even the soap holder looks pretty old. But you can see this room's in really rough shape. They've definitely changed the windows at least once. And we gotta know. For all the viewers. Brown Bomber was not here. And that's what the glass looks like. It's interesting to have that pattern all over it. It's a pretty old school sink and vanity too. Wow, look how big the toilet tank is. Wow, huge, <laughs> absolutely huge. All right, I believe that is gonna wrap this place up guys. What a really, really cool explorer. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for this explorer. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this with me. This was a really, really cool time capsule. Tons of stuff left behind. Not quite sure what the story is here, but you know what? I'll let you guys decide that one in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment with whatever theories you have on what happened here. And of course, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button there. Check out last week's video there. And check out the random video up there, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.